Hello everybody, Togal here, and welcome back to another episode of Dark and Light. I have some bad news, because when I logged on today, this is what I found. Everything's gone. The house, the chests, and the only animals that we have left, of course, are still Pumba and the two sheep, because after the disaster that we had over at the Centaurs, we got payback, but we lost all the other pets. But anyways, everything here is gone. I am not sure what caused it to um, go away, but the server is set to PvE and the structure DK is disabled. So the only way I can uh, explain how this happened is that um, there was an update that did it. Now, I have not played this game in a little bit over two weeks because I went to the hospital with my dad. Um, so the server was offline, but the host that I have it with apparently update it automatically and turn it back on they do that up you know it's probably something that is, is built in so if 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 other players play on your server and you know it crashes to automatically start again or whatever but anyways everything is gone um which sucks because we had a lot of stuff we had a really nice house as well right and we had the workbench we had that um magic station whatever that is called all these things and so on so but i think that we're gonna just look for a different place because i want to show you real quick I think I mentioned that before that over here in this area right over there you can maybe see a little dot in the middle of your screen is where a lot of times um, the meteor drops that spawns the wraith and so on right so I want to I want to move away from here if we have to start over anyway I would like to start looking for a place now I have no idea how I'm gonna do that the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these two maybe okay maybe you can just attack them can I not hurt my sheep? There we go. Get out of here. All right. They were both still bugged, by the way, as well. Um, I didn't show that, but they were still stuck on that craft timer for the fur. So I would have probably tamed new ones anyway. These two are gone now. And everything that I had on me um, after the last time I logged off, I put in here. So I have a little bit of this stuff here. Bones, tons of rotten meat, apparently. Let's put these bones over here and the fur and the hide. And I'm just gonna have this guy here follow me now. I'm gonna drink up and I'm probably gonna make a campfire here for a second. Just so I can cook up some meat and then I think we're gonna go and explore. Um, I was gonna, I was thinking of, you know, possibly getting a flyer, uh, that rock, but I still need to get to riding rank. Where is it? Longhorn. The rock saddle right here. So I have to get through this here, which gives me the Bargish, the Arognea, and the Sturge. And we get that from harvesting hides, craft saddles, and tame creatures. So I think while we're moving today, uh, inland and whatnot, um, we're simply gonna... Let me check real quick, what level is this guy over here? I wanted to get me one of these big guys here anyway, because I'm guessing they have good carry weight. Kind of live like nomads for now, he's only level 16. Um, but I remember across the river over there, there was many more. So maybe I'll go over here first. And in that little camp that's over here where we usually get um, harassed by all the goblins, I'm going to set up... Can I ride you? Or are we too heavy? No, oh, he's doing good. All right, so I'm going to ride this guy because that way he also regens health a little bit there. He is not full right now and he's my, my secondary defense. My hammer should be able to take care of most things. And I'm actually worried about swinging my hammer around them. So I might have this guy on passive. And only if like, oh my god, I think I'm going to die. I'm going to whistle him to neutral or whatnot. But anyway, so I'm going to make a campfire. I think right here. I don't want to really go into this town there. Because of the goblins. And like I said, I'm going to cook up some meat. So set up some food, drink up, and then we'll go and see. I think I want to stay on this side of the river and just venture that way first. Um, kind of figure out what's there because we haven't gone there yet. The centaur camp was across the river right about over there. Here's that tower that we went up and so on. So anyways, today lots of exploring and figuring out where we're going to rebuild. And I'll be back in a second. I found this guy here. It's level 64. And I also noticed this. This now shows you from far away what level mobs are. Which is really nice. That must have been updated also during the couple weeks here where I was not uh, able to play. 64 I think is a good uh, level. Up there is a level 16. So what I need to do with this guy here is kind of get him into safety. Or just get him away from everything. And I don't want to... 
I don't know what happens if I whistle him to... I'm gonna whistle him to neutral here for a second. And then stop following me. Just because I want to see if, if he charges when I shoot this guy here. We do have the crossbow. I do have the correct ones loaded in here, right? Yeah, those are the hook arrows. I got 45. I crafted a bunch more just waiting for this meat to cook a minute ago. And I figured we're just going to give this guy a try. I, I can see that they're that fast, but I want to see what he does right there. Pumba. All right. He doesn't charge because I don't have him set to attack my target. All right. So... And I think you can only hit them once now, right? Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa! A little desync there. Oh man, he hits me easy. He has a huge range. Sprint! Why are you not sprinting? Oh my! This guy is quite agile for such a big dude. Alright, I'm just gonna play Ring Around the Rosie around this. Oh boy! He's got help! Oh no! Oh boy! Okay, I'm gonna have to switch over to my staff here. Will you please sprint? Stop it. Where did that second guy go? What is to you? You're the level 64, okay. You're the one I want to tame. Oh boy. Excuse me, Mr. Boar. I'm being so quiet, but I don't know why the sprint isn't kicking in more more often. It's like every time I I shoot, I cannot sprint for like a minute or something. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Will you please let go of me? Man, this game. <laughs> How's my life? Terrible. Alright, let me go ahead and A, hey, switch. And we're number eight. Cast that. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I think it's during the reloading that I cannot sprint. This guy is tough. Trying to get something between me and it. There we go. Can you get stuck for a minute? All right, let's get a few on him while he's stuck there. All right, do you have enough? You running? No. Nope. Yes. Sprint! Oh boy, and I'm naked. <laughs> All right, this is this is gonna be dangerous now. I'm over here again. Ooh, he's down! He's down! He's down! He's down! All right, you come over here. All right, let's get this thing right away. Right there, and I don't have any berries or anything. All right, okay, let me get some berries real quick. Alright, I'm guessing that this guy eats berries. He he definitely looks like an herbivore. And now my problem is that I don't think I can repair this armor because I don't have a workbench. Hello? Can you open this inventory? Oh, I'm idiot. <laughs> I gotta put it in here. Okay, so yeah, I need... To. I lost all my medals. Oh my god, I had so much cooked up of that, I remember. Oh boy. Ah well. Okay, so... My problem is that I'm naked. And I don't have any of the other stuff either. My backup armor and whatnot. Can I craft anything here? Uh, what is this here? That's the druid tunic. 
And this is the regular leather. That has armor 25. And this has armor... Twin... The armor 10. Okay. So, what do we need for this here? We're gonna need... Hide, twine, and fur. How fast are you gonna tame? Oh, that's gonna take a long time. Okay. Alright, let's get the fur, the hide... And the twine, and you're gonna carry this armor for now. Alright. And you know what? Let's make it light. For nine, right? Yes, there we go. Okay. So let's craft up some stuff here. I don't want the druid. I want the leather helmet. The leather gauntlets. It's better than nothing right now. And that's something I can fix in my adventures here with you guys today until we find a new place. Right, this boar shouldn't come too close to me. And let's eat something. My water is doing no good. Okay. You just, because I'm cold right now, that's why I'm... Um, losing temperature very easily. I believe that is how it works when you're cold. And now we should be fine again. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for this guy to be tamed. And then it's probably gonna be morning. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of the, the materials for this guy to carry. Uh, now this is a longhorn. When do we get the saddle for this guy? Now, go over here. Probably next level, right? Uh, Bargesh, Arknea... Sergi. Longhorn saddle. Okay, so the same with the rock. So this right here is a big one. So I think that once we find a spot where we're going to be, what I'm going to do is just make millions of saddles. Um, to level this up and also kill a bunch of animals on the go. Which I should probably do while I'm here. Why not, right? Hi guys, I'll be back once this guy is tamed up. Alright, one more eating and he should come up. I did not run out of constitution, which, by the way, I'm not sure what we would do if um, you do run out of constitution. Like, you shoot him again and anchor it, if that's gonna give him more, I have no idea. Um, and while I was waiting here for this tame, I killed every little thing in the area here. You guys can see. And I crafted up a bunch of saddles, which I cannot... Oops. He tamed, yay! Alright, I'm gonna call this guy Trunk. Traveling Trunk. And all of this stuff here, I'm going to leave. I don't need any of these saddles. And I got up to the next rank of riding right here. Ooh, I'm 12.6 in the next one. So it's actually not that hard to get that up to the next level. I'm going to say probably another 12, 14, 16 of these boar saddles, right? And I was thinking of, instead of risking everything even more, what I am going to do... I like this guy. Let's see his stats for a second here. Tame that's uh, 88. I've been making a bunch of the good food here. How much weight do you have? Only 372. Okay. But I'm going to tell this guy to follow me. Pumba, and then Pumba is going to follow me. Let me turn this off. You're not getting hurt, right? Standing in there? All right. So what I was thinking is I'm, I'm going to go back to town up here. Um... Let's take everything here. All right, so we got everything with us. I'm going to tell this guy to follow me, and we're going to go up the back way into town up here. Where, you, you guys remember the horse stables up there? And I'm going to leave these guys there. I'm not going to take them with me and risk it, because these are the only two guys that I have that are going to help me travel. It moves nice and fast. Okay. Um, my plan is, I'm going to go up here. And then I'm going to come back down here on foot and kill everything to get the height. That's that's all I really need. Every one of these saddles here. Um, which one? Oh, I can make the next level now. So maybe I'll make a... This is the spider one. I have, I have no idea. I've seen a bunch of spiders. I know where they are. They're over where the tower is. Uh, below on the other side, the hill. That's where they are. Bargus is the dog, I think. And then the grut stack. That's the elk, right? Yes. Horse we had, boar we had. But let's see what these cost here. So 25 and 10 fur. This guy costs wood. I think I'm gonna make these here. Yeah, so I don't need to worry about getting the wood. Because I do get, you know, a bunch of fur for every time I get the hide. So I'm gonna craft a bunch of these saddles here. 
So we get the next riding skill uh, learned. And then we're going to make a rock saddle. And we are going to tame a bird today. I didn't take long at all. Let me tell you, about 15 minutes. It was quite quick. I'm, I'm happy about that. And I already made this guy a saddle. And I made the rock saddle already. And this is everything I'm going to take with me here. Actually, I'm probably going to leave... Nah, I'm gonna keep the twine. The twine barely weighs anything. And I crafted the 70 more regular arrows. And we got water and everything. And I'm gonna take this guy. Just because that way I don't need to run myself. Um, and, you know, I can save on, on my food and water and so on. And I'll need to stop here for a second. Oops, wrong key. Get off. There we go. I set up a couple of uh, campfires down here. Ooh, not a lot yet. But I'm gonna just keep let them keep them uh, running here to make me more charcoal. All right. So how many more can I make now of these arrows? I think it takes five or three, right? I can make another twenty-five. Okay. I I hope that's gonna be enough. That's gonna put me to about ninety. And I made a bow already just to have something in case the the crossbow breaks or something. And we're gonna go ahead and. Set out now. You guys remember up here in the in that grass area, would, well, not the forest area, but it's quite green up there. We have seen um, a rock before um, because I don't know where they are, guys. Uh, we're gonna have to find them, and I really don't care much about a level. If I find multiples in the same area, then yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and you know pick the highest level one. But otherwise, if we the first one we'll find, I'm gonna tame. Um, or at least I'm going to try. I have no idea how hard they are to tame. So over here, I remember we... Oh, I thought that was a... That's just a longhorn. Okay. Um, so somewhere here. And also the good thing is about the, the... The boar is that if I need to flee, that guy runs a lot faster than I do. And I just didn't have stamina, so I'm going to let him regain. How is this guy doing, by the way, on food? Um, hunger. Okay, he's full. He's eating the apples. Okay. What is this now? Did they change the way the drops look? Oh, wow, well, goblin. I hate these... These guys, I hate them! How much, uh, constitution did that do to my pig? 50. Okay, so it's not like I need to worry too much. Okay, okay, maybe I do. All right, you know what? Excuse me here for a second, my friend. Where are you? Come here. Get my hammer to the face. That's what I thought. And you too, come here. You attack my pig? No, I don't believe it. Ah, unbelievable. Okay, next time, staff. I was killed. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Spawn region center. Town center. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my things. And see if I can find that goblin. Otherwise, oh my god, I can't believe that this just happened. So I decided over the last day and a half to build a little bit of a base right here. Right next to town. You guys remember the... Um, what is it called? The Longhorn was up here and we had the fireplaces right there. And I decided, you know what, instead of rushing it now, I'm going to rebuild. I want to make sure that I have a little base here next to town. Hopefully it will be here for good. So if I lose everything again, I can make all the necessities, right? I repaired the armor because we didn't lose it. We left it. I got the two lightning spells. I got two webs. I got a hundred um, stone uh, hook arrows. I got the crossbow. I got a... A backup bow right here and so on and i did level quite a bit i'm um, crafting all this and let me just give you just a second a tour in here nothing special um i did tame these four right here um we had trunk right there right and then i ran across another longhorn i think this one was 96 yes and it's now level 146 and then i tamed these two pumba two and truffle snout and i actually went with them down to the beach, because you guys remember we saw... Or I'm not sure if I'm going to show that in a clip or not, but... 
we were we spawned up there and looked down on the beach and we saw a rock and i actually saw two one i killed it was a level 16 when i was down there with them and a 92 flew up here so we're gonna set out here in a second to look for that one and if not then we're gonna go back down to the beach until we find one um i wanted to check here real quick is the saddle the rock saddle um is that something i can make on the go when i'm down there oh my god okay let's just search rock that's easier there we go rock saddle what do you need high twine and fur okay why don't i just craft this up real quick i made the workbench again of course let's get some fur some twine and some hide i have everything i i've been very busy here for about a day and a half i was crafting a lot and of course building the space and i noticed one thing you guys remember these are the same simple walls number one they have 750,000 hit points and the floor have 1.125 million that is a lot and they look totally different they look like old and mossy and nasty now before you guys remember if you check in here under the wooden stuff um like the door that i made let's see here actually did i make this oh i think i made a simple door instead of no they changed the textures this was different yesterday when i built this it had the old the nice looking wooden parts and door frames and everything interesting so the textures were updated in here as well because they still looked like the old way i am not sure why they're making it look all ugly now but it was nice before all right so we're leaving this here and the only two things that we have not made before is this right here a stone feeding trough because this one here has a meat and, and berries and everything in it will actually feed these animals okay the wooden one is for taming the stone one is for feeding and i made well i also made this cooking pot but i i haven't used it for anything you can make carnivore feed and herbivore feed and acidic extract i don't know um but i made this preserving bin this is the fuel for it the sulfur powder and then you put the meat in here and wait did i have to put something else i don't remember now no i didn't and then i crafted these up right here yeah i can craft them it just takes cooked meat and that makes this right here and you guys see it holds for 18 days and i just took it out in my inventory a day and 20 hours so this food that we're having on us doesn't spoil anymore. But enough now. I really would like to go search for this. I'm hoping that because I'm going to stay close to base, that it won't be that much trouble. Um, number one, we're going to check if we can maybe find this 92 rock. He came up from the beach and I saw him fly over here and then he went across over there. I saw him above this river here last. So we're just going to have to look up in the sky. There he is. But he is too far now. He is over in the bear land. This is close to the centaurs. There's no way I can tame this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set down. I'm going to run down to the beach real quick and see if there's any more rocks that we can possibly tame down there. And I'll be right back. There are three right over there. I have no idea what level they are, but they are within the town limits. So there's no way I can get them. I can only wait for them to possibly come over here. But there is two more. There's one right here. Oh, he landed right next to me. What? Where are you going? What are you? Level 12? I'm starving. Please don't attack me. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill any of them. Dude, how much does this give me here, by the way? Oh, they seem to give me a lot. About 20. Oh, by the way, check it out. I made the iron pickaxe and the iron axe as well. Um, this one does 40 damage, so compared to the sword, which only does 25, I wanted to make this one regardless, and I just made the pick as well earlier. Just so I have something to hopefully defend myself a little better. And, oh my god, let's eat another one. Okay, so where did the second one? Oh, is that him? Where did the first one go? Can't tell. Nothing else hostile down here right now. What level are you? 28 we're gonna try this one guys i i said from the beginning that i don't care what level they are i just want to tame one so i can fly i don't want to fight with it i want to explore and find a new building location right so let's do this i have no idea how to tame these can i put this on you did i just use the 
No. No, no, no. Come back here. Oh, boy. Please don't fly up. Alright, I'm missing. I'm missing a lot. <laughs> Maybe I have to lead a little bit. Alright, good. Ooh, he like pulled me up in the air for a second. Oh, please don't fly over there. Come back here. No, that is dangerous territory. There's goblins and all kinds of gobbledygook up there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, then we'll try the level 12. Oh, I... I'm an idiot. I didn't have this equipped. I was right-clicking, trying to... get this to... slow it, right? I'm hoping that it's gonna slow birds. Is this the level 12 now, all the way up there? Oh, man, I just have the worst luck in this game right now. Alright, let's make it bright. I'm already on Gamma 3. Yeah, those are those three. And this guy now flew up uh, right there. I think that if I cross here, I'm going to get into town limits. Yeah, you enter the town. But the only thing I can hope for is if I hit him, that he will fly over that way. Follow me. Follow me, my friend. Please, let me tame this. I'd be so happy if we get this guy this episode. No. Dang it. Alright, I got him on the wing. Maybe I can drag him a little bit. Come over here. Come over here. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Woo! Where am I going? <laughs> Wait, is he out? No! No! <laughs> I can't reach him. Can I run up here? No. Oh my god, are you killing me, game? He's right next to town. No, he's not out yet. Are you really stuck like a knucklehead? He doesn't look like he is flying, is he? His head is like twisted and down. But when I got up there... Oh, maybe I just don't see the bar. I have no idea. Oh man, you're killing me. Alright, let's see if I can place this feeding trough. No structure. This is gonna be too far away, I bet you anything. You're starving, I just ate five pieces of meat. How much food do you need, dude? I don't know if this is gonna work. The problem is that... No, let's just put it down. They're easy to make. Yeah, check this out. It's already damaged. Isn't that weird? Well, I guess we can see here. Let's put a hundred in there. He's eating! He is eating! Yes! Oh my god, we might get him. We got it! Oh my god, we got a bird! Um, he Headache. That's what I'm gonna call him. A giant headache. I am so happy we got a bird. Oh, things are gonna... I hopefully... Hopefully... Turn for the better. Is he... <laughs> it's because he's still... Knocked up... Um, from... Knocked out from these... From the tethers. I can't mount them yet. How do I... Can I take these off somehow? Search, change name, unclaim. He's level 17. I don't care. Well, how much health does he have? 210. Wow. It's very little, but we're going to be able to find us ourselves a nice place to live. I'm going to wait for this guy to wake up. And then uh, try to move him away from there. Okay, the tethers are gone. So that's good. So now once the constitution is down, how far is it? Okay, it's sinking. So once he wakes up, we'll take him for a spin. All right, he just woke up. I made myself a warming spell. A rune of... What is the thing called here? 
Rune of Warmth, because I think that's why I've been using so much hunger. And... Alright, let's go back here. Let's see what's up. We are flying. Alright, the worst thing, uh, the first thing I'm looking for, I don't care about the speed. It's not too, it's actually quite slow. I'm not sprinting. This is sprinting. This is quite fast. I'm more worried about the stamina. And also, let's give this guy some food. So he can get his food and health back, well, his food back up. Alright, so now how do you land this? Is it just like it was an archipress space? Yes. Okay, and you can walk. And that attack on the ground. Left mouse button. And right mouse button. But I hopefully I don't need to fight. The first thing I want to see is if I can land this. Oh my god, we can fly, guys. We can fly. This is the best thing. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Now, what I want to know is, can you fly into town? Or are they going to shoot me down or something? Oh yeah, the stamina is almost out already. Holy shnikes. So, definitely no sprinting. Oh yeah. Okay, and how fast does the stamina go up? It, it recovers very fast, so we just need to land a second. And so even if dangerous territory, I should be able to be um, keeping the stamina up. Are you gonna render over here, stable? Blue? Alright, good. Alright, let's take a look at town first here. I do want to see. Ooh, what's this purple stuff over there? Well, we're gonna find out. Ooh, there's a giant tree. Oh, there's so many places I want to fly to. But, of course, I don't want to find a building spot, you know, on the opposite of this island, guys. I do want to stay somewhat in this area, you know, in the human area, I'm gonna call it. So if I ever need to respawn in town because my base got taken apart or whatever. This is so cool. Look at this game. It's beautiful. So I emptied my inventory. I left all unnecessary items at home, filled up with food and water. And I started flying around a little bit here because, you know, it's it's a large map. So I'm not going to be able to show everything um, on video. But over here is that tower that we checked out the map the first time we got that spell. Where am I, am I on? Oh, I was on the right one, okay. So of course there's a town and our um, base is right over there, the little hut. I came over here to these mountains first, because I, I do, I would like to build up a little bit higher. Um, so you have less chance of things spawning on you, but that might not work out the way I think it will. Check it out. There is, I don't know what that is down there, it could be a longhorn. But there's a wyvern right there. I think those are wyverns. I'm pretty sure. The dragons, I think, are much bigger. They're huge. And anyway, when you come up here... Check it out. There's lots of birds. Which makes sense up in the mountains, right? There's more wyverns. There's more rocks. I don't think I've seen a griffin yet. There's another wyvern. So I don't know. This, this looks to be really dangerous. I know there is uh, the elemental stones or turrets or whatever they're called. Um, that can shoot birds and so on. But still, it looks to be a pretty dangerous area over here. I haven't seen anything on land yet, which is kind of good. But there's, what is the thing? Oh, I think those are Kodos. I think that's what they are right there. Let's fly there. How much stamina? Only have stamina. Let me fill up my stamina first. So in case I need to flee... I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get away because these wyverns scare me a little bit. I don't I don't want to lose the bird as soon as I get it. Nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna check out that mob over there. It's too dangerous. I don't want to risk it. I really want to find a spot to live at so we can start building a really good base with lots of defenses because I don't want this... Oh, by the way, also up here, right there, I was a loot spawn. A skeleton was there and it fell off the mountain. That's another problem that there might be in this area. I'm not sure. Is that the centaur camp? I think it is. Okay, let's get away from the... Oh, there's a saber or panther fighting with a rock and two wolves. Let's just see. No, that's not a griffin. All right. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. Quick. Is he following me? No, he's not. Good. <laughs> Hey, let's check out. It would look purple from the distance, and now it's blue. 
I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is an indicator like an arc. Don't build here. Oh, look at how many cats there are. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like this is uh, this is not done. It looks like there's something is going to be here. So definitely don't want to build it. I don't want to fly in it because I'm worried that it might dismount me or something. Well, this is a nightmare down there. There is four wraith here. Wow. Holy moly. Are they supposed to be here? Or is there like not enough natural predators? So they spawned and never got killed and then the next one spawned? I mean, that is a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god, that's instant death right there. No matter what you come here with. Oh boy. That is crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm flying further inland now. You guys can see the, the human town over there. I don't even know what the name is of that town. And I'm just... I mean, you know, I, I, I gotta explore. I gotta find something that is cool. But a lot of this is very cool, by the way. How's my stamina? Alright. Oh my god, this is sweet. I had no idea this is... I've never seen anybody show this. It's not even red. Wait, are you friendly? Ooh, what's happening? Oh no, I'm getting out of here. Okay, so I'm guessing that when you go down there, it starts getting foggy. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. I can't wait to get like a really powerful land dino, guys, and then come into these places and really explore it. But you need something super strong just to be able to survive this. This is a beautiful area. Look at this. This looks really good. You got the death entrance over there. That's what I'm going to call it. You got the giant trees. You got the water, the islands. Rock golem turning around over there. It's beautiful. That would be a really nice view to have. Oh, why are you glowing? What are you? Obviously, you're Griffin, but why are you glowing? Oh my, is there a lot of birds? Okay, I'm gonna make my way over to the snow area and see if there's anything over this way. That is good. I mean, the further I go, the harder it's going to be for me to get my dinos over there. So it's quite possible that if I'm going too far, that I'm just going to leave those four dinos that I have over there. And, you know, we start with new... I keep saying dinos. I'm sorry. Creatures. Animals. They're not dinosaurs. Um, and we just start with new ones in this area because they probably won't do any good over there anyway. I was just going to use them as transportation and luggage. I'm loving this map. It's really beautiful. Very well made, this map. Cannot complain about that. And the frames only stutter every once in a while. I'm not... It, um, you can fly quite far before it gets framey for 30 seconds, and then it catches up again. I also don't know if there's any dangers in the water in this, by the way. There's like... Oh boy, I gotta land. I gotta land. If there's like... um. You know, piranhas or alligators or any of that. I have no idea if the waters are safe. Oh, I saw something. Nope. Gonna cast it? No? Oh, I forgot. When you're on the bird, you can't do anything. You have to get off the bird before you can cast something. On other On land dinos, you can. But it seems to be a little bit safe in here. And you just right click things now, by the way, to cast them. Um, the same with um, if you want to build something, you just right click it and then it automatically equips it and you can put it down. This is quite nice. Um, let me get some... Um, 
Yeah, let me get some materials. I'm gonna build one foundation. I wanna see if we can possibly put a foundation. Um, these are all walkthrough. What? All just decoration. All right, not this guy. Then I'll just okay. And let's get a little bit of grass. I think that should be enough. Make a... Man, they all look different now. I'm having a hard time telling. Well, let's just make the triangle one. It doesn't really matter. We're not really going to place it. I just want to see if you can. So we can build in here. Ah. Oh, boy. I don't know what a soul note is for. That's my biggest problem. I'm gonna have to Google that. I'm no idea what they're for. Hey, um, you come with me. I'm, I'm scared. I want to be able to get away as soon as I can. All right, I land right here. So what can we do with these? What? Come here! Come here! Come here! Hey, stupid bird! Come here! Oh my god, was that close? Uh, <laughs> three hyenas! Oh my god! <laughs> I would have lost the bird and I'm nowhere near home. Alright, maybe this place isn't as good as I thought. These are all empty. And it's also a little bit... Um, it's not very flat, I wanna... Did I just bend this tree flying into it? No. No, it's just my imagination. All right, time to go this way. I, I don't really want to go further that way because um, going further inland, I don't know if that's going to be smart. I have no problem living in the cold. You can manage the cold in this game by using these runes of... Never mind. Never mind. We're not moving anywhere. I don't know what these are. But they look dangerous. <laughs> very, very dangerous. They look cool. Are those like frost wyverns or wyverns? I don't know how you pronounce it. Wyvern or wyvern? Oh, cool. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, we're not moving here. That's for sure. And I think this is the dwarven starter area right here. I'm pretty sure it is. And because I wanted to know kind of like, you know, where are the starter areas? Um... Just so, you know, I have a feel. I, I just want to know the, the lay of the lands. That's what I'm trying to say, right? Um, and I'm going to keep flying around here until next episode. Just trying to find this, you know, perfect location. Um, I, I'm going to know it when I see it. But until then, I won't be able to show everything. And then, of course, once I get to know the lay of the land a little bit better, kind of get an idea of where the mobs are and so on. We, you know, we saw the frost, frost wyverns. I'm thinking those were those. We saw that that Bramble Canyon, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, we saw where all the wraith are and so on. It's getting really dark, so I'm going to try to end this episode now. Um, yeah, and anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I was I was planning something totally different. I wanted to get the bird, find a location, already start building. But as you guys saw, I had to rebuild everything. Um, because I lost everything, but I hope you still enjoyed it. And until next episode, take care. Stay safe and bye-bye.